Tristan here from the EdTech Teacher and welcome back to another quick tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite resources to use and it is called armoredpenguin.com. Armoredpenguin.com is a um, generator that makes a huge variety of puzzles and activities that you can use in your classroom. I've been a big fan of Armored Penguin um, since my early days of teaching and I still use it today um, because it is quick, it is easy, it is simple and it is free. Um, and that is a big thing that we like to hear as educators is the word free. So today we're going to have a look at Armored Penguin. Um, I'll just quickly go through and show you some of the great features of Armored Penguin. Um, we might have a look at some more of them in a future episode of um, one of my tutorial videos. But for today, we're just going to focus on one aspect, which is the word search section. So with Armored Penguin, you can see that you can create word searches, crosswords. You can create mix uh, word match puzzles. Um, there are word scramble puzzles. Um, and then a whole range of other different um, puzzles that you can use. Um, I don't necessarily um, have expertise in using some of them because they're not relevant to my particular um, learning areas. Um, but there's a whole range of different puzzles that you could use and incorporate into your classroom here at armedpenguin.com. So today I'm going to show you the word search generator. I am a big believer in word searches. I think they're fantastic to use in the classroom. I don't think they're time wasters. I think they're great for vocab. Um, they're great as uh, you know little lesson starters, little lesson starter activities to um, calm the students down after a recess or lunch break. Um, and I think you can do a lot with word search um, activities. So today, let's have a look at the word search puzzle generator from Ahmed Penguin. Now, I like this because it is a really great generator. It's very customizable. Um, so you can almost make it um, exactly how you would like to. Um, another great benefit of Armored Penguin and the word search generator is you don't have to sit at a word document for hours trying to add letters and make sure you get all the words in. You basically just input your information and it generates a fantastic, challenging word search for you. So let's get in now and have a look and um, create a demo word search so you can see how simple it is to use the Armored Penguin word search puzzle generator. So we click on the word search section on our Armored Penguin homepage to go into the generator. Now, another really great thing that I love about Armored Penguin is that do have a huge list of pre-made word searches that you could use in the classroom. I have gone through these before. I have printed off a whole range um, to use as early finisher activities. And, you know, you might even want to have a look there to see if there's something that um, you're going to create yourself that maybe somebody else has already made to save you a little bit of extra time. So it's got some pre-made puzzles there that you can go and have a look at. Um, there's a permanent collection. Um, there's a section created by a category and organized by time. Um, so um, when they were created. Okay, so let's head on down the page to have a look at the um, word search generator. Now, the great thing with Ahmed Penguin is you can customize most features, um, and that is really great because you can decide how you want to make um, the word search. Do you want to make it really challenging? Do you want to make it simple? Do you want to differentiate it? What would you like to do with the word search? All right, so on the screen here, you can see a whole range of um, rectangles. This is where you add your words. So there's no minimum amount of words that you need to add to your word search, but obviously the maximum is the total amount of rectangles that we can see here. So what we do is we just add um, our words to our word search, um, depending on what we're doing. So we might be introducing a new unit, might be introducing some vocab, some meta language. It might be some revision terms. It's completely up to you what you would like to do. So I'm just going to go and add some random um, words here. Um, to get us started. Oops, I'll just put that one in there. And we'll add a couple more just to give us a few here. All right, so I've added two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 words there to my word search. All right, so when I go and start to generate the word search, it will pop those 12 words in, okay, and they will be the 12 words the students will look for in this particular word search. 
So when I scroll down the page, this is where I get to start to customize um, the look and feel of my word search. So obviously I'm, um, I, I should give my word search a name. So I'm gonna call this literary genres. You can add your name if you'd like to. Um, I don't necessarily add my name because I don't mind if other people use them. Um, but if you'd like to um, let people know that this has been created by you, you can add your own name to um, the author's name there. You can add a description of the puzzle if you would like to or some instructions. I tend to leave this out because it does take up a little bit of space um, on the page. Um, and I don't know if it's necessary most of the time. Okay, let's get into some of the customizable features for your word search. So you can change the color of the puzzle. Okay, so there's a whole range of um, colors here. So if you're lucky enough to have a color printer available to you, um, you might like to do that, or you might just like to stick to the, um, the plain black um, and white. Um, again, you can change the color of the background. Okay, um, and you'll see that um, when we go to producing the um, the word search. Um, so I generally leave it on white, but um, for this particular um, uh, example, let's go for a nice blue and see what happens. Okay, um, size of font for puzzle grid. So you can choose the size of the font. Do you wanna make it larger? Do you wanna make it smaller? Um, I generally leave it on the default here, which is four. The size of the font for your word list. So obviously you will have a word list for um, the students so that they know which words to find. I generally leave it here on my, um, my default um, because, you know, you don't need the word list to be huge um, because they're mainly looking for those words in the word search. Okay, there is a couple of ways that you can actually um, produce your word searches with Ahmed Penguin. There is a HTML version and a PDF version. I don't use the HTML version. I focus on the PDF version because I find it's easier to um, print um, and to access. So I just leave this, um, HTML information because that's not relevant to me. Um, because I'm based in Australia, my PDF page size, I'm going to change that to A4. Um, if you're based somewhere else in the world, um, please make sure that that is set to your particular paper size. Now, you, another great thing is you can change the font, st uh, font style for um, your PDF. There's a whole range of fonts here. Just be careful that some of them are easier to read than others. Um, so you might have to create the PDF, have a look, and if it's not quite right, um, go back and change that. Um, I like a Courier bold. I like a nice bold font, um, so I'm going to do that there. Um, the next one is to convert case. So this is where you can convert um, your words to uh, lowercase, uppercase, or leave as they're entered. Um, I prefer to leave them or move them all to lowercase um, so that it's a little bit more of a challenge for the students to find the words. Maximum puzzle size is five, okay? So that is looking at, um, let's have a look here. Um, so this is the, uh, the site attempts to make puzzles as small as possible and give points for as much overlap as possible. In addition, all puzzles have the same number of columns as rows, okay? So the minimum number of columns and rows that we will have will be um, five. Um, okay, our aspect ratio, I just leave that same number as ro of rows as columns, but you can change that if you would like to make it um, uh, bigger. Um, the puzzle format, now this is one really great feature. This is um, to determine um, which directions the words are placed. Um, I like to leave it as all directions um, to make it a little bit challenging, but if you have a younger group of students, you might just like to go forwards, um, you know, forwards and down, okay, um, completely up to you, but as I said, I like to make it all directions um, to have a little bit of fun. Okay, um, I always make sure I tick this one where it says sort the word list. So when you enter your words into this section here, you don't actually have to enter them um, in the order that you would like, especially if you're doing them alphabetically. You just click on sort word list here if you would like to do that. If you would prefer to randomize your word list, you would obviously click on um, that particular button here. Um, I always like to put my word list at the bottom of the page. Um, if you don't select this, the word list will appear um, down the side of the word search. Okay, the number of columns for words at the bottom of the page. So my words are going to appear at the bottom and they're going to appear in three columns. Now, if you've got a lot of words, you might like to change that, um, you know, um, 
because obviously the list will be longer um, if you've only got three columns. So if we make more columns, the, the lists are going to be shorter, which means the word search is going to have more space on the page. I always like to make sure that I click this, um, this button here about grid lines. just makes it a little bit easier for the students to find and read, um, but that's completely up to you. Um, I don't worry about um, the missing vowels, the grid coordinates or the math equations um, because they're not relevant to my particular learning area, but if they are, you might like to include those. Um, omit special words from answer key. Um, I just leave that one as well because that's not relevant. Okay, so when you've done all of that, now it is time to make our puzzle. Now, it is relatively quick making our puzzle, which is fantastic. Um, obviously, it depends on how many words that you have um, as, as the basis of how long it takes to create your puzzle. Okay, so this is my puzzle, and we did select a blue background, and it is pretty difficult to read, um, in all honesty. So I'm just going to go back by clicking my back button. I'm going to go up here, and I'm actually going to change this back to white because it's a little bit easier to read. And I'm not sure I clicked on grid lines. I'm going to click on grid lines just to show you what the puzzle looks like with grid lines. Okay, so this is what your puzzle looks like um, when you've got um, the black text and the white background and the grid lines here. So this is the HTML version of um, the word search. We've got our three columns down the bottom here. Okay, um, and as I said, if we added more columns to that particular section of the setup, um, there would be more columns of words there. Okay, the really great things about um, uh, Ahmed Penguin and the word search generator is there's a couple of different options in the ways to um, share this with students. We have a printable HTML button here that we can press, and when we press that, it's going to create a printable HTML version of it there. Okay. That's cool, that's easy, but if you want to reuse this, I suggest that you go for the printable PDF version. And it is going to make a PDF version of the, um, the word search, which you can save and you can use time after time. And that's what it looks like just there. Nice and easy, okay? It's put our words into two columns here um, to fit on the page. Nice and easy um, for you to use, for you to save, for you to print um, and, and reuse with your students. Another great thing that happens with um, Ahmed Penguin is they actually give you an answer key, all right? Because sometimes you have those students that go, I can't find this word, and you will look at the word search for ages and go, yeah, I can't find it either. Well, you can, and you can look really smart and look like you know what you're doing with the um, answer key. So it will show you all the different answers on the word search, Okay, nice and easy for you to identify so that you can help the students out if they get a little bit stuck. I also suggest that you um, save that as well and you have that for the future because um, with Armin Penguin, your word searches are not available forever. Okay, so they are kept on the server and available for a short amount of time, but they are not available forever. So I highly suggest that you use that PDF version option and you save it and you download it so that you can reuse it again. Ahmed Penguin is really fantastic. It's really easy to use. It's really easy to customize, okay? And look, they're not the prettiest word searches in the world, but they do their job, okay? And for educators like um, ourselves, we are busy. This particular um, generator takes away an extra step of us having to create a table in a Word document, fill in the words that we want the students to find, finding and adding random letters that work, okay? It's complicated, it takes a lot of time. So Ahmed Penguin is a great um, resource to use to save us a little bit of time in the classroom. And I've been using it for my entire career, which is almost 10 years of teaching now, um, and I'm still using it. I'm still creating new word searches, um, still creating new lesson starters. Um, you know, as I said, vocab activities, um, unit terms, okay, um, characters, you know, settings. There's a whole range of things that you can do to engage students using the Ahmed Penguin word search generator. So that is just a very quick video looking at the Ahmed Penguin word search generator. 
Um, stay tuned um, for the in the future. I will show you the Armored Penguin um, crossword generator, which is also another really great resource that you can use. And it's so simple that it will save you a bunch of time um, in the classroom. So I hope you go out and have a look at Armored Penguin. It's one of those kind of hidden gems that if you don't know about it, um, you'll never know and you'll never be able to find it and you'll never be able to experience the amazing um, power that it possesses. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to this quick um, tutorial on Armored Penguin's word search generator. Um, I hope it has been useful for you. Um, please make sure you follow us on um, Facebook at the EdTech Teacher. Um, join us on Twitter. Um, make sure that you like our YouTube channel um, and check out our website, theedtechteacher.net. Anyway, I am Tristan from the EdTech Teacher, and thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this video today.